Welcome! This is a quick introduction to some of the new features in MathCAD Prime 2.0. For those who aren't familiar with MathCAD Prime, I'm going to go over some of the basic functions as well as some of the new features that have been introduced. If you're familiar with Prime 1.0, Prime 2.0 uses the same ribbon user interface. The tabs are still the same, but you will notice that the notice the addition of some new functions which I will go through. Prime 2.0 still uses the same whiteboard interface with the alignment grid that allows for easy alignment of equations and regions. MathCAD 2.0 still supports what you see is what you get document editing. For example, if I type in 15 divided by 8 equals 2, what I see is a fraction as I would in a normal textbook. Um, and I still have all the document formatting options such as you know adding in headers and footers. Prime 2.0 now supports 32 and 64 bit support uh, and you should also notice that it has a better startup time and there are also some new tutorials um, available from the getting started tutorial tabs. One of the new features um, available um, are the collapsible areas and these weren't available in MathCAD Prime 1.0 but have been brought back for the Prime 2.0. Um, they allow you to group and hide your calculations. For example, if you wish to hide important calculations or information just to make an, a document easier to read. Uh, so to insert a collapsible area, you want to go to the Document tab, go to the Area tab and that will be inserted for you. I'm going to enter some data. so. I'm going to assign R colon equals to, so I'm assigning this value, not evaluating it, to be 40 centimetres. The height to be 1.5 metres. Now notice here that MathCAD is telling me that these units are differentiated by um, the dark blue colour. Um, I'm going to assign this volume here to be pi times r squared times height. Okay, so notice here that MathCAD is differentiating this constant in green. I then have the option to collapse this area and you'll notice a thin horizontal line appear and if I want to expand that I can just open up, click on the plus sign. Um, MathCAD's powerful enough to evaluate it without the working out being visible. So if I want to evaluate the volume, uh, volume equals to, and I get my answer there. Now, MathCAD um, doesn't print areas that have been collapsed, uh, and nor do the plus and minus signs um, print. One of the other new features is that MathCAD Prime 2.0 now supports 3D plots. So I want to go to the Plots tab, insert a 3D plot. Okay, so I'm going to enter in an axis expression here. I want to enter in x squared plus my y squared and press enter and MathCAD will automatically calculate that for me. If you click back on the plot region again I just want to show you the axis selector at the top here so if I select um, the z-axis here so you will get the corresponding z-axis here being highlighted and also the editable axis uh, which will be shown on the right hand side here and it's always displayed vertically. So to enter some of the, to edit some of the ranges, I can change this to be um, minus 10. I want to go up by units of 10, so I've got the option to click on the first, second or the last tick values here. And let's make the final range there um, 100 and click enter. And MathCAD automatically recalculates that for me. Uh, some of the other functions we've got available here are the view control functions. So I've got the option to click on that and spin my graph around. So look at it from different directions. I've got the option to pan that across. 
I've got the option to zoom in and out and I've got this handy little reset view option here which resets your plot to the original position. MathCAD Prime 2.0 now supports a new Excel component. To, so to insert um, an Excel component, we want to go to the Input Output tab here. Go to the Excel component and click Insert Excel component there. And you'll notice that the Excel component is con um, consists of three parts. So the Input the con, um, component table itself and the outputs. So what I'm going to do is um, just enter in a simple matrix at the top here. So I'm going to go to the matrices, really simple one, adding in one, two, three, and four. So I'm going to use this as part of my inputs. So what I want to do to enter in an input value here, I want to right click in the inputs um, area insert input expression. I'm going to assign this to be uh, M. Okay, and notice how MathCAD automatically populates the component table for me. Now if I double click on that, MathCAD will open up a separate spreadsheet and all my values have already been entered in here. Um, I might add in some additional values in there. Um, make sure you save or close that. Uh, so the MathCAD will update that in your component table there. Um, and to use these values um, in your output, I'm going to click on the output section, click on insert output expression. I'm going to assign this uh, to be A. Now I also want to use all the values within this region, so I want to be um, adding in a colon and including all the values up to C2. So then if I then use my A, I can evaluate that and MathCAD will automatically create a matrix for me and I can use this expression um, throughout the rest of my worksheet. MathCAD Prime 2.0 now supports symbolic maths or algebraic maths. So for example, if I want to find the derivative, so d dy of the function sine y, for example, and I press equals, now MathCAD is going to come up with an error. So I don't want to be solving it this way. What I want to be doing is going to the Maths tab, going to the operators, going to the calculus and selecting the derivative symbol here. I might actually do a different example here. So d dy of cos y squared times sine of 2y. Now I don't want to enter an equal sign. What I want to be doing is going to the functions tab, going to the solving options Oh, excuse me, going to the math tab, going to symbolics options and then entering the symbolic evaluation and what this will do is evaluate my input um, on the right hand side symbolically as you can see there. Uh, the optimization solvers in Prime 2.0 are now from the advanced Nitro 7.0 optimization software library. And these are available in the solve block functions from minimize and maximize. I'm going to run through a simple optimization of a function example. Uh, it's good practice to get into the habit of um, plotting your function, plotting the function you want to optimize to help you pick appropriate guess values. So I'm going to plot um, the function f of x and assign that to be sine of x times e to the power of 0.1x. So to insert a simple plot, I'm going to go to plots, insert 2D plot. I'm going to uh, enter my 
x value down there and my function on the side here. T sine of x times e to the power of 0.1 x. Okay, and MathCAD will automatically calculate that for me. Now, to enter in the corresponding solve block, what I want to do is go into Math, enter in a solve block here. I'm going to enter in some guess values. Um, so x b4. Now you've got the option to enter your function either in the solve block, um, which limits that function to be solved within that solve block only, or if I want to, I've got the option to enter it outside, which means I can use it for, um, throughout the rest of my worksheet as well. Um, just for this example, I'm going to enter it inside the solve block f of x equals to sine of x times e to the power of 0.1x. Okay, I'm going to enter in a constraint here. So x, as long as x is greater than 5, and I want to maximize this function. So what I want to do is go to the functions tab, go to the solving, and go to the maximizing function. And I want to maximize my f and x values. I can then delete the other placeholders and equal for it to be solved here. Now a note for optimization uh, that the constraints are optional so look what happens when I um, delete this constraint here. Notice that the maximum actually changes here. Now notice what happens also if I change the guess value up here. Um, if I change the x value to 6 um, this is going to affect the outcome as the solver converges on a local maximum instead of the real maximum. And the final thing I want to go through um, is that MathCAD Prime now supports multi-threading. So to use multi-threading you want to be going to the calculation tab calculation options and selecting multi-threading here and multi-threading allows you um, allows you to control the number of calculations you can run in parallel and it also helps you speed up processing of large data sets and matrices so thanks for watching um, I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of the new features in MathCAD Prime 2.0 Keep an eye out for updates and future releases um, on our website at, at www.cadet.net.